Hello and good morning. We literally just left the Linnell D car park about half an hour ago. The dynamic duo are back. And on this trip we're heading off for Ben, Vrotain and the Moine Moor. I think that's how you pronounce them. And we're going to well camp somewhere tonight. Forecast is alright. Um, it's going to be a wee bit windy on the top, so we'll probably have to find some shelter somewhere. But it's quite a vast plateau up there, so we could be toiling. But we do have a little lock in that we can drop down to, which is about 850 metres high, so the wind might just be a wee bit calmer there. I'm the walking chicken, no time to play. I'm the walking chicken. I'm the walking, 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 chicken. Walking, talking, slave on. <laughs> That's us just crossed the White Bridge there and now we are uh, heading up on the east side of the river and uh, the first Munroes came into view Ben Vroten That's it there We are going roughly where those snow patches are We might check them out on the way up as well because there could be some uh, natural snow tunnels Right, we've just picked up this stream here and now we're going to come off the path and start heading up here What I'll do is I'm going to make some progress first and I'll bring you back when I get a wee bit higher Kev, what's the time? Time is a long overdue rap o'clock Yes, I'm on the raps our raps have been getting a bit of stick on Twitter recently I don't know why And Instagram Oh like people on Instagram have been even commenting on the old macro raps nice But don't knock them until you've tried them They're magic Shame we forgot the Primula though Although there was a safety recall with Primula, I read that, I read that in the news I Don't know what was wrong with it like Just Adds a bit, a bit more to it but still good This has been a long time coming this January was the, the last rap. That would have been the Glen Co trip in Korea. Half a year. Right, that's 10 to 1, and we're back on the go. Fueled up with the macro wraps. Okay, we're in Corey and Schnecter. Probably pronounced that totally wrong, but it does translate to Corey of the Snow. And as you can see here, we've got some snow patches left. I think if there's going to be snow tunnels, then maybe in that patch over there, but not that one. See, as soon as I get the camera out, Kevin's fixing his hair 
honestly. Check on me. I'm all looking. I'll get my sack suit. You can maybe use the steps I've just kicked. Yeah, there's no one that you worry about. Yeah, Do you like a pro? Nicely done. Well, right, because I kicked the steps first. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting the, the coffee music ready. Ding 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 ding. Potential for a snow tunnel over there, no? I thought that maybe there's like three potential spots. Oh, Nah, there's not much happening snow tunnel wise. It's a slight one there, but I'm not crawling in that one. That's a pity. Right, we found one wee tunnel here, but unless you're a midget, you'd be on your hands and knees in that one. It's a bit uh, low. You can see there how it hollows out nicely. Cool little snow bridge. That's us, made it to the top of Ben Vroten. There's Kev just catching up. This is us on the way to the Moiny Moor. It's just across there. Over here, we've got Cairn Tool, Ben McDewey, and the big massive one at the back is Bray Reich. Right, that's us at the call between the two Munros. So we've got this last one to do up here, then we can find somewhere to camp. It's quarter past three in the afternoon, so there's bags of daylight still. That'll be our route home tomorrow. There's a lock in. I think we're going to maybe try and camp it just out of view around there. And then we'll come down here. There's a path somewhere down there. And then all the way back around to one of the day. Folks, we are currently just heading down this uh, boulder field and we're going to camp somewhere down here, hopefully out of this wind. Just give me two seconds, I'll just step over these boulders. Yeah, so maybe camp for that lock in down there. There is some ripples on the water, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, we're making progress down, and both me and Kevin are scanning like Terminator for pictures. <laughs> Camping spot found, affirmative. We're just right. feeling a bit tired, so we'll safely pluck ourselves down off this, and aye, I'm strapping down. I'll bring you back down there. Right, I think we're going to go here. It's flat enough here, one tent there, one tent there, or two tents with a gap there and then this is the view Not too shabby That's us pitched up now it's a bit windy, but um, it's not terrible. Probably about 15 to 20, maybe gusts are just hitting over 25. We were getting no sleep tonight, but I think it was Scots Wild Camper that said you don't go wild camping to 
get asleep and I think he's right. Not tonight anyway. I've got one of these guys left and I'm going to have this as a sort of starter just to get some calories in quickly so I don't have to cook anything at the moment. Check this out by the way. Some bird poo from the local birds in my garden. Off you nice of them. That's the thanks you get for feeding them. <laughs> it's good luck, I suppose. The Lockside camp is losing its appeal! <laughs> so, the milkshake was good, but it's time to get dinner on. And tonight I am having the beef stew with potato. These were my Cape Wrath meals for early this year, but obviously I've not used them. I've wrote the measurement on the back there so it's easy to find. It's half eight and I am shattered. Fighting going to sleep because I know if I go to sleep now I'll, I'll be up one, two in the morning. But the tent is making a racket. It's like this. That's what I need. I need a guy there. Put it too tight and you get a horrible vibration noise. Just just enough. That makes a difference. That could be the difference between a good night's sleep and not a good night's sleep. But I have no spare guy line, so it's not a good night's sleep. <laughs> I'm just going to chill in the tent, I think. Oh. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the morning. See you later. Morning campers. Good morning campers. Good morning campers. What's the time? Quarter past six. I was actually alright, the wind calmed down and me drifting in and out of sleep most of the night and pretty much I think we've slept in to be honest. I think that day took out of us. What do you think, Kev? I would have called quarter past six sleeping in. It is um, for well camping. Probably you know about a sunrise. Ah, there was no sunrise to get up for. It's clagged in again. Bye. Hi. I need a new sleeping bag. This one's seen better days, so if you've got any recommendations for a free season bag with a rating between 0 and 3 degrees, weighing between 6 and 800 grams, stick it in the comment section below and let me know, because I'm going to get a new one soon for next year. folks that's us ready to roll leave no trace has been applied as always let's go we didn't have rucksacks <laughs> oh Okay, so straight ahead of me, that's Carnavain, that's a Munro. To the left, that is the back of the Devil's Point. And to the right of me, we've got the eastern flanks of the Munro we did yesterday, Ben Vroten. Then behind me, we've got the second Munro, and that's the, the Moiny Moor Plateau. So me and Kevin, we're going to keep heading around this way. 
that takes us into Glen D and then back towards the chest of D where we uh, walked in from the car from obviously the Lenny D. So uh, we'll just keep pushing on just now. So when we came out of the, the glen at the Devil's Point there, the path was pretty boggy, difficult to follow. But two, three kilometres in, we're on a, a decent path now. So that's not too bad. Oh, that's good. Oh, three's in. Oh. Right folks, this is where we uh, came off the path yesterday and headed uphill, so seems like a good time to wrap up the video. So it's a goodbye from me and uh... See you later, Paul. See you in the next one. <laughs>